Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back with a new video. It's been too long since I've made a video, and I want to apologize for that. But, you know, um, I did have that live stream, and that live stream went pretty well. I'm planning on doing more of those. Today's video, though, is all about um, something I saw that Joe, aka Pigpen, the one and only, was going to do on his channel last night. Uh, he was going to do a live stream of the history of auto racing on uh, Racing Rivals. He was going to do basically an entire conversation about bots and hacks and things like that. I wasn't able to attend it last night. Um, I'm pretty sure he did postpone it, though. And depending on how my day goes here, I may or may not be able to join him later if he wants me to. If he does it today or something like that. But I wanted to make my own video explaining you know, the hacks and the history of Racing Rivals. And show you guys something that you can kind of see over here. This is something that's running around like cancer for Racing Rivals right now that admins really need to do something about. But as of right now, most of you know the history of Auto Launch and Auto NOS and Auto Racing. Um, Auto Racer was something I never released publicly, even for sale. But I did have a method of uh, automatic shifting on Racing Rivals back in the day of versions like 4.2 and 4.3 things like that. As you can see here, I still have my old APKs for 4.2.1. Um, this is auto launch for uh, another 4. Point whatever version, 4.2.1. As you can see, these are all 2016. So, you know, frankly, auto launch and all that hasn't been possible since at least 2016. Now, some people have brought it back is the thing. And what you see here behind the screen, and what I was going to show off is the primary subject of the video today, this is what's primarily infecting Racing Rivals right now. Yes, or no, I mean, no, no, no. Race bots are not built into the game like they used to be, like when I made Auto Launch and Auto NOS. We cannot add that into the game anymore. People are using Android emulators like BlueStacks, which is terrible. Stop using BlueStacks. Uh, Nox Player, use that one. It's much better. Um, Andy EMU or Remix OS um, in a virtual machine. Uh, people are using Android emulators on their PCs, their gaming PCs, to play Racing Rivals with these auto racing bots. Now, what you see here is version one, quote unquote. I helped somebody else make this bot. It has. Um, you know, as you can see, it takes influence from one of the old bots that I had released on Nitto 1320 Legends, which was Morpheus. And I ended up spelling Morpheus wrong for the entire time it was around. But that's beside the point. As you can see here, this emulator lets you select, or this bot lets you select which version of an Android emulator you're using. Um, here, I'll show you. So, Nox was the one that I always used. And I put little, you know, pop-ups and stuff like that to help you know what does what. But there's BlueStacks, BlueStacks 3, ne Nemu, Archon, Droid 4X, Genie Motion. Pretty much every single one I could figure out the name of. And then you would be able to set your reaction delay. So that would be when it would hold the launch button down and then drop the needle to the perfect launch. You could select which light you actually do it off of, select if you use NOS or not. Use beta timers. These were actually a different type of timer that's more accurate than just using clocks. Um, and then it would start the race, end the race, and you could do it with hotkeys as well, which was really cool. So it was. this is really well set up, and I'm kind of proud of how far I got with this because I was uh, still kind of new to all this but as you can see i even called it morpheus 2.0 and i spelled morpheus right i think i still don't know so long story short morpheus 2.0 is a rebirth of an old botting software that was originally created for the game nitto 1320 legends this bot is designed to race for you with advanced timing functions for shifting gears and launching your car ghost shifting this bot actually has the ability to ghost shift and this is why when they said during the live stream with carbonated hey we got rid of ghost shifting I highly doubt it. I'm sure my tool will still be able to do it. Ghost shifting is when you skip a gear in order to get a better estimated time in Racing Rivals. 
leave the checkbox unchecked if you want to do if you want the car to go shift any gear check the box to select which gear you would like to skip now I had removed that method of go shifting and I have to edit this box but again it's been a long time since I've opened this um basically what you end up doing to go shift on this now is like oh I want to skip second to third just put up really low time it's not that hard I don't know why I made a custom option for go shifting that was fucking stupid <laughs> but basically as you can see this is what's plaguing racing rivals right here so Basically, to show you the code and to explain how Carbonated could patch it, um, which, you know, for other for reasons I'm not going to say publicly, I'm not happy with Carbonated right now, uh, but, you know, whatever. We're making some stupid decisions. But as you can see, there's an open file dialog and a save file dialog. That's just for uh, selecting proper files and saving and opening those files that you save. Getting the foreground window and the window rectangle, that's to know how large the window is. So basically it auto-selects Knox because Knox is just the best emulator out there. It'll auto-select third light because third light is the one most people use and put in some default values. Now these are all the tool tips, the pixel grabbing. So let me under let me explain the pixel grabbing. Basically what this is, if you remember math class, get pixel integer x integer y an integer is a number um these integers are 32 bit so there's like 16 million of them or something like that um 16 million different bytes or something like that i don't remember but as you remember in math class if you look at something on a grid on a graphing paper and you put across you know down the middle and across the middle you would have plots, points, on that graph that you would, you know, for something. In this case, we're actually using that knowledge to graph out the screen of Racing Rivals in the emulator, and then it automatically knows where to look for the pixel color. One way that um, they could really kind of stop the botting is to, you know, just check and see if the game is running in an emulator. It's not that hard. Other companies have done it. Guns of Boom does it, for example, and they do it very well. There's no bypass for it. Um, as for actually manipulating the game to cancel out the uh, bots, you could do something like a, a small window of time where all the lights turn off during the 3, 2, 1 countdown, something like that. But basically, as you can see, there's the light delay, and then this is all the shifting and stuff like that. They could also try to find a way to detect emulated key presses. There's so many ways that they could, you know, patch this. But, long story short, this is all it takes to make a bot for Racing Rivals. And this is just plaguing the game right now. It's just, it's so bad. So they really need to fix it. My goal with this was to make it universal. This works on CSR2, CSR1, CSR Classic, Racing Rivals. Worked on Asphalt Street Storm when I tested it. Um, there were a couple other games that it worked with that I tested. But uh, just to let you guys know, this is what's going on in Racing Rivals right now. This is the new Auto Launch Auto NOS, Auto Racer, basically. This is the new race bot of Racing Rivals. And I don't know if I'm willing to sell this. It's so easy to make that I feel like anybody could do it. If I released it publicly and tried to undercut that guy he's charging two hundred dollars a bot two hundred dollars a license it's ridiculous and i'm the i'm actually the one that made this and gave it to him like he had so many problems with it i forget the guy's name off the top of my head but i can see the conversations in my head and it it sucks i edited so much of it fixed it for him and he goes around doesn't even give me a thank you back or like some of the money for selling it and he's selling it $200 a pop there's so many people in the top teams using this it's not even funny almost all the top racers need to be checked to see if they're on an emulator because if they're on an emulator they're using this there's no question about it but anyway guys I'll talk to you guys later hope you guys enjoyed that peace out